Well, guys, do you want to know how to make plugins like this in Roblox Studios? I can show you today. All right, guys. So today we're gonna show you how to make a plugin. So first, to start off with a plugin, we're gonna go to Server Script Service over here. We're gonna press this plus icon, go to folder, and we're gonna call this plugin. Okay, and then we can add up another plus, put a nice script inside of this, and we can just call this uh, let's call this uh, create. Uh, let's just call it plugin creation. Okay, and now oh, what the. Uh, so now what we can do is we can do a local tool tool bar equals plugin create tool bar and then boom and now we just put our name of our plugin inside of here and you can probably tell what this is doing this is creating our plugin so when we install it it will create it up here in the plugins toolbar up here so let's just put our names let's put um plugin tutorial okay and afterwards i'm gonna put yeah so this is gonna be awesome and you, I'm gonna publish this if you want, guys. Uh, so just say in the comments if you want to publish this. But whatever. Um, I'm gonna show you how to publish it. So then you can make your own and even publish it and make some robux. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do local debounce equals true as I just did here. And we're just, that's just a debounce. So it's not gonna. This is not for a cooldown. Okay. This is just to make it so you can open it by pressing it and then press it again to like you know close it. So now we're gonna do local new new script oh script button equals toolbar create button and in this first thing right here we put the name of our plugin so I'm gonna do plugin tutorial and then we can do comma and in here uh just put open UI okay and then actually we could put open UI or whatever right it's just saying to you know open it up right and then we could put comma and then now what we're gonna want to do is get our asset id for a picture of the you know of the plugin icon okay and uh i'm just gonna actually make one really quickly and show you guys how to do it so here we go so let's just go to um pixel um we're not gonna use photo of p for this because it's something really simple so i'm gonna just take this out and we can just do create new and let's do over here go to recommended art grid click that create and now there we go. We got a nice box where we can do our plug. So our icon for the plug. So I'm just gonna make a little thing here. I'm just gonna. It's not gonna be that crazy. I'm just gonna insert a shape. Uh, let's change the color of it maybe like this. And then also there's this website you can use. I'm gonna just click it. It's called flaticon.com. All right, go to that. You can get some free icons in here. So let's say a tool or something. Uh, let's say. Ooh, this one's not bad. Oh, I'm gonna do this one. So let's copy that and then could just Control V paste it and there we go got like a nice little thing so maybe we'll do that or something i'm gonna unlock it so just click this two times to unlock it so you can just change it more to a better size i'm gonna do like that um there we go i kind of like that and then i'm just gonna put text here i'm gonna put plugin tutorial tutorial and then i'm just gonna make it bigger right i'm just gonna center right there or something whatever right i'm also just gonna change the text let's do like is it fredoka Ferdoka, no. Um, do, 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 do. I'm gonna do father and son. This is the weirdest like name for a font, but whatever. Oh, uh, there we go. So we can just now put it into the center. And obviously, you see how it's like doing this. So we're gonna just. Oh, okay. It's better like this, right? So do that. We're gonna do this a bit right here. Plug in tutorial. I actually kind of like that. I mean, it's not like the best thing, but whatever. So we're gonna save it. PNG, whatever, right? Save it. And I'm going to change the name of it. I'm going to call this plugin. Let's call it plugin. I don't know. Test PNG. Okay. So we got to save. And now since we got to save, right, we could just go to roblox.com. And you can add me if you want. I don't really care about this. Uh, but go to create up here. And now what we can do is we can go to, I'm pretty sure we can just go to creations and then development items. And then right here, images. Click that. And now we can make a new image. Okay, this is I don't know why I have so many of these guys. Um, but whatever. And thing is, oh yeah, upload asset right here. So just upload here. Upload, put plugin tutorial, plugin test.png, decal. Alright, just upload that into this. So now we got our little thing here. And now we can actually distribute on marketplace. I'm not gonna distribute it. And then we're just gonna copy this. I think that's the right ID. So now we can just go back to Roblox Studio and go to our script here. And in here we can do RBX 
asset id and we can put colon slash slash and then paste in our id and there we go now we can actually get started a bit more on the on like creating it because this is all just setting you know images and titles so now let's do i'm gonna put a comment here so it's easy for you guys create new i'm gonna put doc widget plugin gui Info. okay and then we can just pop up. um there we go so we can do local widget but you know uh the plugins are widget like so if i click let's go to my uh gloomcast plugin here uh so if we click this right you see it's like a widget this is a this is called a widget so there you go and now we can just do widget oh i hate i'm horrible at spelling okay widget info equals oh my god equals doc widget plugin info dot new and i can just enter and go down here so now we can do enum dot initial doc state dot float all right so yeah now we can just do false for this because right here in in it enabled so we don't want it enabled obviously on start so we're gonna do that comma and we're obviously gonna need another comma up here so each time you add something you're gonna need a comma so now we're just gonna do false because we do not want to override the other state and now we're just gonna define how big we want our plugin so i'm just gonna do 100 uh, actually no let's do 500 500 so that's the width and the height right there so this is width this is height so i'm gonna label that for you guys width width and this is height and this is the default because um you could technically change it so this is just how it's going to start off when you open it so now uh we're going to get the minimum how small it can actually go and i'm just going to set that to 100 100 there we go and i'm going to call this right so to help you guys i'm going to call this min width and this will be i'm going to put another comment here i'm going to say min height okay there you go that just gets you know some comments for you guys so you understand what these numbers mean uh -huh. So now we can go down and now we're going to create with widget UI. Okay. So now we're actually creating it. So when you click it, it actually does something. What we're going to do is local gloom tools UI. Um, so gloom tools UI, I, you could call this gloom tools UI. I don't really care. This is just a name, right? This is what I put for the gloom tools, a plugin. Um, but just for this tutorial, right? I'm going to do plugin tutorial. Okay. But tutorial. Okay, so now uh, we can do equals plugin, and then we're gonna do create doc widget plugin GUI. Okay, there you go. It's not gonna show up immediately as a thing. So if you guys, uh, I'm gonna put obviously all the code in the comments, okay? And that's where, and it's gonna link to our website because we are not using github anymore we have now have a new system on our website where you can just copy the code all right so now we can go here and we're just gonna put the name of our plugin so this is called plugin tutorial comma widget info and then we can put a title so let's do plugin oh okay plug oh we separated these so i'm gonna just combine that so plugin tutorial dot title equals a plugin tutorial right because i called it that plugin tutorial and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do so new script button right we're gonna do dot click and then we're gonna do connect function and this can get the player okay so now uh we can do if debounce then debounce equals false and then we can do plugin tutorial dot enabled equals true okay so there you go okay hopefully this is making sense here so now we can do else right because this turned false so then it's probably gonna go down here so now we can do debounce equals true and then we can do plugin tutorial dot enabled equals false there we go and now if you want to actually test our plugin right now it's just going to open a window it's it should only open a window so we can just right click this folder and save as local plugin down here we can click that and just save and now i add a new one and okay fail to load plugin icon that's fine but as we see it's opening something and actually we could just press it again and it'll close it right um so you see we see that's not loading so what i'm gonna do um because this is a bit annoying right uh what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna uh, this is okay yeah so what we're gonna do is we are going to let's just try this let's just go to image right image label or something and let's just upload it in here so what if we just add image choose file and we just choose the create so we just choose our you know icon oh yep and it created it right there so we can just copy that. There we go. That made it so much easier. Um, so now we can actually just take that and put it in here instead. And now, so we see our old one is still here. That's fine. We're going to delete them later. So I'll show you how to do that. So let's just, you can actually delete this now. But thing is, it won't disappear, as you see. Because we need to leave Roblox Studios and go back in it again. So we can just save it again, right? Yes, replace it. And there we go. We got an icon there. 
and then click it and boom it shows up something and now the main part of this is we need it to show a UI okay so I'm just gonna go and start a UI here and put a screen GUI and I'm gonna call this plugin tutorial right because you know that's what I called my plugin so call it whatever right um I'm just gonna put a frame inside of here and we can click this right and then we can just put go to size down here and we can do one zero one zero boom there we go that gets our whole screen and this is useful because when it's in the plugin right we want it to stay as big as the plugin right we don't want it to just be like a little small little thing and it can't like fit or something right that's why we're doing one zero one zero one zero as a size okay and then I'm gonna just rename this frame to main. And then I'm gonna just import, I'm gonna just put a text label in here. I'm gonna call this, uh, let's call it, uh, let's just, yeah, plugin tutorial. I'm gonna just call it plugin tutorial. I'm gonna take this text and I'm gonna go to the center up here. And then I'm just gonna scale it, make it bigger. And then what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna add, yeah, I'm gonna remove the background of it. So I'm gonna go to background transparency, make that one. And I'm gonna also change the font to whatever you want, right? And then, yeah, we can do rich text. And yeah, there we go. So now it's kind of looking better. Also, the white is literally burning my eyes. So I'm gonna change it to like a nice blue color or something. Um, yeah, I like that color. All right. And now I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add a UI stroke to this because it's just gonna make it look better. So I'm gonna change the color of the UI stroke. So maybe like, let's try like a white color. Let's just do white. So if we do thickness, it's not going to do anything. So we have to change this contextual to border. Hopefully that does something. Oh, it does that. All right. So we're going to have to do this differently. Uh, okay. I don't know. Okay. I don't know if we can add, you know, a text. We can, I don't know if we can add it to the text because it's like not working right now. So um, it's fine, guys. Or it might be because, you know, we have rich text on, guys. So let's take that off. And there we go. See? It was because we had rich text on. So there we go. So now we can just shrink this down. And there we go. I'm just going to have it like that. And then let's add. I'm just going to rename this text label right. To, I'm going to rename it to title. Title. And I'm going to add another one for a button. Text button. And what we're going to make um, for this, right, uh, is going to be a remove empty model. So it'll remove all empty models. Like that's going to help a lot when you're building, right? So I'm going to call this remove empty models okay this is what we're going to use as a for the plugin as a con um as a example so we're gonna add a ui corner to it let's just do like maybe 10 yep and let's make the text for it bigger so let's do fredoka one and let's make it text scaled and i'm probably just gonna do that for now because we gotta do some scripting so i'm gonna call rename this text button to remove empty models okay so then uh we're i'm gonna add a ui stroke because i like to add ui strokes and then in the UI stroke, let's just change from contextual to border. And now we can make it like thicker or whatever. So there we go. Also, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into the, I'm going to go select all the, all of our GUIs here in this. And we're going to go to auto scale light unit conversion scale scale. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to also select our GUI or actually our frame here. And I want to do, go to auto scale light and add a constraint. Okay. All right. Hey guys, so in the video, I forgot to show how to get this plugin right up here at Auto Skill Light. So I'm going to show you right now. So just go to the toolbox, right? Go to plugins. And then just write Auto Skill Light right here. And then click this and then download that. Okay. Now we can actually just get to some scripting. So we're going to add a server script inside of this. And we're just going to call this uh, removing, finding, and removing empty models. Okay, so now all we have to do is we're going to do script.parent.activated. Okay, so connect function. Boom, there we go. So we're going to do for i model in i pairs. This is what I like to do. I like to use i pairs, but I'm just going to use pairs for this. So there we go. So now we can do game dot. So we can do game, or we can actually just do workspace to make it simpler. And now we can just do get children. And then we can do do if model, you know, is a model right then and then we're gonna check how many children are in. so local childs equals model and we're gonna get get children okay and we're gonna say if hashtag if hashtag childs you know is more or is less right or equal to zero then we can do model oh model and then we can do destroy okay and now we can do else and then we can do for i comma child in I pairs and then we could do model get so we can do model and we could do get children and then we could do do if 
model is a right model then we're gonna say local descent descends equals child child okay so we're gonna do child right and then we have child up here so this is getting yeah so what we're doing basically is we're gonna get the model right and then we're now we're gonna just check inside the model if the child inside the model right if there's any empty models in the model so i hope that makes sense so we can just do child get children right and we can do if hashtag descend is the same thing more i mean less or equal to zero then child destroy okay and there we go so i could leave, leave the script and actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this ui put it into our script up here and then what we're gonna do is i think that's all we need to do really um so just to we're just gonna make sure that's all we're gonna do right so um but i think um yeah so i think all we're gonna need to do so we're just gonna need to do here so to create right when it's gonna create the widget we have to do script dot plugin tutorial right we have to get our get our gui right and then we have to do dot parent equals uh so actually so what we're actually gonna do is we're just gonna get the frame inside of it so i'm gonna do dot main equal dot parent equals plugin tutorial okay now if we leave this and let's just test it. Let's just save to Roblox, save, and then replace it. Yeah, all right. So I think this is the one right here. So let's click it. And as we see, it's not exactly how we wanted it to, okay? Like when we do that, it's fine, but then it's not really changing how we want it. I think that's because of our of our UI aspect ratio. So let's just remove that. And hopefully it didn't break it. Yep, it's totally fine. So let's just try it again, hopefully. So save as local plugin. Oh. I think I did it wrong. So let's do save as local plugin again and then save. Yes, replace it. And let's check. Yep, and it's working. So let's also press this, right? Nothing's gonna happen. But then if we insert a empty model and press it, and boom, it removes it. So now all I want to show you guys is how to publish it. So we're just gonna right-click our plugin here and we're gonna do publish as plugin. Okay. So now we can just change like the title, description, and stuff. So I'm gonna do plugin tutorial gloom crack. And then I'm just gonna call this this was made for a tutorial tutorial and then i'm just gonna make the creator me because i don't want to put on anything else so we can add images i'm just gonna add an image of our of the icon in there and then i'm gonna distribute on the marketplace i'm not gonna put a price on it i guess i'm gonna put zero and then submit it and there we go we got a plugin and now we can go back so i'm gonna copy this title and now we should be able to go into the toolbox and it should appear so if we go to the toolbox and we go to plugins and let's put it in and let's see yep it's right there we can click it and we can install it so it says we want it to manage a game so if it says this we have to allow it the reason why is because we're using a script right it can modify stuff so we have to allow it and now if we go to plugins up here we should have our other one, right? This is the one we download from the toolbox. We click it. Um, see, as you see, it's not popping up. The reason why is because we have to quit and it's gonna, so we have to exit all our studios and now let's go back in it again, okay? And good work. So let's go to plugins and then I don't know which one is which. So I'm just gonna go to the plugins folder here and I'm gonna delete this. And then I'm just gonna close the place because you can just actually close it, I'm pretty sure. And then just go back in it. So now we can go back in just because I, I just wanted to get rid of the other one just to actually see the real one. So now, if we go to this plugin right here, it works as we see. And actually, we could just put it right down here. And then let's just put empty models. What if we put empty models inside of empty models? So we just put this one in here, paste it, put this one in here, paste this one in here. And as we see, it's not working. The reason why is because it sees it has children. So if we remove it, now we can just remove. So if we just remove it, boom, we can just paste. What if we had like so many in here, like we were working on a big project or something and boom, removed. And this is how you make a plugin and robot series i hope this video was helpful bluecraft is about inspiration and learning so i hope you i hope you have a great day bye